The Russian missile and drone attack struck residential and medical facilities in Dnipro and Kiev on Friday night. In Dnipro, three people were killed, including an eight-year-old girl and a teenage boy with at least nine others reported to be injured. Regional authorities have reported damage to a medical facility in four residential buildings, with one individual still feared to be buried under the rubble. In Kiev, a Russian drone strike hit a multi-storied building in the capital's Solomyansk district, igniting fires on the upper floors. The one person was killed and five others were injured, including a teenage girl. The over 100 residents were evacuated as air defense units worked to intercept the attack. So as the war continues to rage on, G7 nations have announced plans to provide a $50 billion loan package to Ukraine by year-end, funded by frozen Russian assets. The loans will support Ukraine's reconstruction and are expected to extend through 2027, with each nation's contribution set to begin by December. And amidst these developments, Ukrainian officials remain pretty firm in their stance that peace talks can only begin after a full Russian withdrawal. Now, the government has reiterated that true peace depends on Russia returning the seized territories. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has expressed his resolve to host a second international summit this year to discuss terms for a just end to the conflict. Russia, however, has declined to attend any such meeting, insisting that Ukraine must first recognize its annexation of four eastern regions. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.